let we talked to Vrabel about uh, how they're trying to develop your skill set, how you're being asked to do some kind of different things as they work through the installation. Uh, how how have you kind of experienced that? How are you kind of taking to what they're asking you to do? Well, I mean, anything they ask me to do, I'm pretty much just doing it, you know. I'm just basically just working on more techniques, you know, different stuff. I mean, just trying to you know, get acclimated into more first, second down. So, I mean, that's pretty much all that is. Uh, John Glennon. Hey, Derek. Um, wondering um, how you feel. I, I know you're kind of a natural pass rusher. Um, wondering how you feel like your um, your work against the run is, is coming along. Oh, yeah, I feel like it's improving a lot, especially, you know, like you said, I'm, I work a lot on pass rushing, but running down, that's really my main focus is camp, which is, you know, stopping the run, being a better technician in the run game. So I think I'm improving that a lot more. Sure, and one one quick follow for you. Uh, obviously, we haven't seen much of uh, of Vic Beasley uh, this year. Just wondering, I'm sure you've gotten to know him a little bit. What what impressions um, has uh, has Vic made on you? I mean, uh, he made a lot of impressions. I mean, he's a vet, you know. He talks in meetings, and he's a real quiet guy. He really doesn't talk to, uh, talk too much, but you know, he he really does it by showing. So, I mean, that's pretty much for me. Like just seeing like how he does stuff and how he operates. Just taking little notes and stuff here and there. Uh, Jim, if you could move just a little bit closer uh, so we can hear you a little bit, bit better. Hey, Derek, uh, I guess when last season ended, you kind of look back at tape. But what, what are some things that you wanted to focus on this off season to improve? And, and how has that kind of gone, you think? Uh, this obviously, I just really want to improve on like uh, my run down stuff, first and second down, and then, you know, being a better pass rusher and then really focusing a lot on special teams, getting on like, every special teams I can. Did you do anything else? Did you do anything different body wise as far as trying to put on weight, trying to get in better shape? What 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 was it? What that look like for you? I mean, obviously, I was really just focused on like speed and you know staying in shape because you know we didn't know what you know how things were gonna fold up with the whole COVID thing. So I mean, it really was just staying on shape and really just not eating right. So, uh, Chris Harris. Hey Derek, with the, uh, the roster cuts coming on Saturday, what what so there being a week left for guys uh, who are on the fringe and maybe trying to make the team uh, to put their best foot forward? What advice would you have for those guys, kind of since you've been in that position before? I mean, my advice I was to say I should say take it one day at a time. You know, you can wake up the next day and get cut. You know, so really just take it one day at a time. Don't be too overwhelmed. I feel like last year I was kind of overwhelmed when I first got here. You know, getting all the information in at once, but you just got to break it down, you know, process it, take some time to study, but just don't get overwhelmed and take one day at a time. Uh, Buck? Yeah, speaking to that feeling of being overwhelmed, we talked to DeAndre, and he feel, since he missed last year, it feels like every day he comes in feeling a little bit like a rookie. Can you, can you give us a, a specific example of a time last year where you may have experienced that feeling and, and how you kind of have worked to better yourself from it? Uh, really, for me, it's probably uh, when I was on practice squad because, like, my coach was there to tell me, like, yeah, you're on practice squad, but we're evaluating you, like, every play. So, for me, it's really like, yeah, we was on practice squad, but not getting the mentality like I'm on practice squad, you know? So, it's not like I'm going to get some ones, I'm going against Taylor, or I'm going against Rogers, so I'm going to put my best foot forward in this film. But I think, like, last year, I probably got overwhelmed a little bit, probably before I got activated because, like, oh, you know, Something happened. I got bumped up. Now it's like you got to make sure you have P's and Q's because you can get called in. Any play can call. So you got to make sure you know what you're doing. It's 10 guys on the field make sure, like putting their trust in you. So you got to make sure you know what you're doing. For sure. Who did who did you lean on in those moments? Like somebody in the locker room? Was there a, a vet? Maybe somebody, another undrafted rookie? Uh, uh, who did you kind of lean on in those moments? I kind of leaned on a lot to come in your career because he's a vet and he's a smart cat too. And he's not one of those, like last year when I got here, I didn't know like how cool vets really players going to be like to rookies. You know, some didn't talk to people, some talked to people. But kind of like he really, didn't, you know, had that initiative. He kind of like took me in as a little brother, you know, Anything I had help or need help on, I asked him. So that was really kind of what I landed on a lot last year. Uh, 